think of anything that's probably unique to first period is that every day, no matter how tired we were after zero period, after marching band, or concert season, or even even this good morning attitude, like it's just, it's, it was always a good time to have. You love being here and you can tell that. And there's something special about that when your teacher is instructing you, clearly enjoys what he did, does, and he's there for the students. I think that's a, it was that, it was that way every day. I think that's probably it. A memory I'll keep forever is how he was. Um, let's see. When we'd come home from field shows at 11.30 and he'd walk up to me and say good morning. <laughs> Even after we lost. Um, he never watched the movie White Chicks even though I asked him to so we could discuss it. <laughs> and that one time he cooked dinner at my house with Mr. Davis and it was like the golden ticket because it never happened again made me dessert. Great. And his can-do attitude all the time. Every day. Even at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that would have to be whenever I did something wrong and in the middle of rehearsal he would just call me out and make me feel... It would make me laugh. It would make me laugh like a lot. And then make everyone else laugh and then I'd just feel stupid but it, it would be fun. He was a fun guy. Honestly. Favorite band memory with Mr. Gunnison would probably be like a day after band camp. I was with Matt and we decided to get him and get a yes from Mr. Gunnison. Took a picture of it just to prove Cameron that I actually got a yes. His girlfriend got one before him. <laughs> yeah, that's the I'm best a witness. One. Yeah, that's a witness. He's the one that took it. My favorite band related memory would probably be when um, it was my freshman year and I was really new and I didn't want to play out and Anderson always would yell at me to play louder. There was only three clarinets so like yeah and he um would always just like stare at us and give us those glares and <laughs> the glare. Um, and um and then like one time we are like I don't know this was offered like a bunch of times to me but if I were to play loud enough and break my reed they would buy me a new box of breeds. It was awkward that I just love, but I still have to play around. 